Hi guys! So, do you notice anything new? <laughs> I finally got both of my nostrils pierced today. Um, it wasn't uh, that bad, it's on a scale of 1 to 10, about a 4.5 to a 5. I got them pierced at Alternativa, and um, I also made a video of me getting it pierced, so that will be added to the end. Um, we pierce with uh, normal labrette bars, and mine are 1.2 millimeters in thickness and 8 millimeters in length, which is the initial size. Um, but afterwards, it depends on how much they're going to stick out after the swelling, uh, whether I'm going to actually, you know, change them to a 7 or a 6 mil in length. Um, but yeah, the it doesn't really hurt when you're getting it done, but afterwards, when I uh, step out of the shop, it sort of feels like when you get punched in the face. I know this because I went uh, kickboxing for about a year and a half, and when somebody just just fucking <laughs> punches you on your nose, uh, that's what you, what it feels like, and it swells up, and it's pretty pretty uncomfortable. However, it's been about 50 minutes since I got them done, and I don't know. Now I think they're pretty okay. They don't hurt. Uh, I can move my nose and my mouth, and I can smile and everything, everything. so, you know, I think it's okay. Um, one thing uh, you have to take into consideration if you want any sort of nose piercing is if you're sick a lot during a year, then uh, most likely, you know, if you have to blow your nose a lot, because I have some of my friends, some of friends who just throughout the year constantly have to blow their nose, um, so perhaps then a nose piercing isn't for you, but, um, I don't know if you really, really want it. I suppose you can make it work, but then just pick a season when you aren't that sick, and then get it done. Because you know, if you have, if you get a virus once your piercings are healing, then that can really, I don't know, that can be really bad. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what else to say. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and after these things have healed, or at least I've lived with them for some weeks, then I can make a update video on, you know, what to expect during the healing process and everything. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, enjoy the video of me getting this done.